Hi, this is James McGowan of the Shire of Donegal Tour. Um, today we are going to make some cooling packs for gel. Uh, basically it is to go inside of, um, you can put it in your armor, carry it around with you, and uh, it is based on a video from a guy called Nighthawk in Light on YouTube. That video will be in the description. And uh, what we're doing is we are mixing some sodium sulfate in a 4 to 1 ratio with standard table salt and adding xanthan gum to taste. Um, not actual taste, although all of the ingredients are food grade. Um, it is going to be uh, based on the thickness that you want it to be. Um, so we're going to heat it up, melt everything together, and then when it is all melted together, then it's going to go into silicone pouches. You can put it in Ziploc bags, although I don't recommend using them by themselves. You want to reinforce them. Anyway, uh, we'll add this in just a sec. Okay. So I don't have my pyrometer or thermometer here, but we'll go ahead and start adding salts. going to be one, two, One, two. The four that we've added so far was sodium sulfide. We did uh, sodium sulfate. So we uh, did sodium four sulfate. sodium sulfate and one sodium chloride. documentation. No. Of course, make a giant mess while we're at it. Yep. And you want to add salt, both of these are salts, um, until it stops dissolving and you have a little bit left over in the bottom. And then you add just a little bit of water until there's almost no more undissolved. But you want a little bit more to be undissolved even at boiling because you want to super saturate it. Which means that there is no more that can be dissolved into the water. And this is our fourth of the second set of sodium sulfate. Looks like the general idea is four parts to one part. Four to one. And throw a little bit over our shoulders to get in the devil's <laughs> eye. I 
fix it in post. <laughs> Third set of sodium sulfate. That's one out of four. Two. Three. Four. And one more of sodium. Okay, and you stir that until it dissolves and add a little bit of xanthan gum. So is xanthan gum the... Xanthan gum is the thickening agent that's going to make it so that it is a little bit more um, gel than just a straight liquid. Okay. But you don't want to put too much in because otherwise it gets too thick and that's also not ideal. I'm guessing this is also a rough estimate. Oh, this is way more than a rough estimate. <laughs> Putting in about a teaspoon. I'd, I'd say roughly two about teaspoon a teaspoon and a half. Yeah, a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. The center section of a paint cap. <laughs> we are clearly working with very precise measurements. Of course, we have our yardstick. Exactly. That giant bubble example. Mm -hmm. okay. So we have a roll here of silicone baking sheet. It is fiber reinforced. And what I'm gonna do is I have it marked at eight inches and it is 10 feet long and 16 inches wide. So I'm gonna cut a rectangle here that is gonna be eight by 16. I have a piece of wood underneath here that I'm gonna be cutting against and that will give us a rectangle that we can fold over and get an eight by eight square pouch. We'll be able to glue that to itself. We're gonna glue all the way around and leave just a little opening. And then we'll be able to funnel in our mixture. And then after the pouch is dry all the way around and we fill it up, we will put a little bit more silicone there, clamp it, and then let it cure. That's all right. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, we're gonna do a real quick bead around here with some caulking. This is 100% silicone that we're using because it should bond to silicone. So, the caulking tube is leaking out the back instead of the front. So we're going to run a thin bead around the edge manually.
Hopefully your mileage is better than ours. I'm really smelling that silicone now. Mm -hmm. Using well ventilated area. <laughs> Contains acetic acid. Smells like vinegar. supposed to like stick the spike down the front as well as cut the tip off okay so now we will fold it over clamps and wood here and we're going to clamp it. We can stop recording now.